Here's a quick look at our file structure showing what's on the hard drive and out on the server. I've logged into the website and you can see that I'm in public underscore HTML. And I've set up a folder called Living Link. And inside of it are all my PHP files and the CSS files. Now remember when I talked about the password ID that was decrypted. So we're going to take a quick look at our edit action. And you can see in here that our edit action is going to go up one directory. It's really going to go up two directories. And I'm going to save that. I am fiddling around out on the server now. So our edit action is going to go up one directory. That's going to take us into our public HTML. Then it's going to go up a second directory. And there you can see our CGI-bin. And if we look inside of that, we'll see our CCI pass with our encrypted password. And we'll take a quick peek at that. And it's just what we wanted to see. We're going to go back into our... Uh... Now the reason we do that is when people view the web pages, they can see what's inside public underscore HTML, but they can't see these files that are above public underscore HTML. So by putting CGI bin in this directory above everything, that protects it from everybody uh, hammering in. We have to go up two directories because we created another level called Living Links where we have all our files. So when Edit Career needs to find that file, it has to go up two levels. Now let's run our file. It's going to break because we don't have the right database and user IDs in it. But I'll show you how it breaks and then how to fix it. So we're going to go out to your website. And remember, we're going to go into the Living Link folder, and we're going to use the Edit page. Oh, and that upper lower case caught me. So it's Living Link with a capital L. We'll test our user ID password, and you can see that we've been denied access for our local host. So if we go into our cPanel, And we go into our databases. And we can see here that our user is Peter JT underscore IM data for the database, Peter JT underscore career. And our password is yes, you are without the prefix on it. So let's go into our code and change that. So we're going to be in Edit Action. I'm sorry, Edit Career. We're going to go down to the bottom. And we're going to see that our user is going to be, and double check. Our user is going to be Peter JT underscore IM data. Our password is going to be please. And our table is going to be Peter JT underscore career. So we edit that file, edit career, go to FileZilla.
and send it out to our server. Go back to our page, do a refresh. And there you can see it worked. And to get the right username in there. So now if I check on part-time direct support, you can see here's my header, description, and these go description, requirements, contact information, and deadline all relate to field one, two, three, and four in the database. Let's take a look at those side by side. So we'll go into our database, PHP My Admin. Here's our career, and we'll do a browse. And you look here, we have our page, our header, and our fields. If we look here, we can see here's our header. And our field one, if it, let's see, Sexton North. And so on. And if we make changes in here, let's put an XYZ at the end where it's noticeable. We'll do a save. And then we'll go to our career opportunities page. And we'll have to check the user ID password on there as well. So that's our career PHP. Now we're going to have to update our career.php page as well. So at the very top we're going to put in our username, password, and you can see I create a variable here for the database and then I use those in the lines that follow. Also notice my error I say error connecting to CCI database and I should just connecting to database and then I use my variable. After you saved your file, don't forget to move it out to the server. Oop, I lost my connection. And then we'll click on the career opportunities and you can see our change came in.